Hello Queens and Kings, my name is Tandega Shabangu. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. Today is a beautiful day. We'll be responding to a request and let's get started. It's very exciting. I'm excited. Are you excited? I hope you are excited because this is exciting. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So the first thing that you have is your belt, your finished belt, any pattern that you would like. But for this pattern, it, it's much nicer with a triangle pattern, you know, instead of diamond patterns and all that. So this is your belt. This is my belt. Where is your belt? <laughs> um, I just made like a nice short belt. I have to finish it here. That's why I extended it so that I can be able to finish it later. So this is where I started. This is the belt. So we're just going to be working on the belt, building our triangles underneath the completed belt. So we have our needle and our thread and at the end I make I made a single thread meaning at the end I do not join the two strands together instead I have one strand so I made two knots one on top of another so let me fold it nicely here I haven't trimmed it yet, so that's why there will be threads hanging out. I like doing that, leaving that part for the last part. That's the most exciting part for me. I'm saving the best for last. I'm the kind of person that eats everything and leaves the meat because that's the part that I enjoy. So you're going to start from the top and work your way to this point. So you're going to start by inserting your needle at the top bead let me start with the first two beads and you pull nicely like this and then you'll just insert your needle walk your work your way downwards so I can Insert my needle into this bead. And I pull. All the way down. So I'll just pause until we meet at this point. So you just insert your needle in between all the way, all the way until you get to this point. So I'm finally at this point. I'm going to now insert my needle. First we were vertical. We're moving vertical, we're moving down. So now we're going to move horizontal. Ne? So it depends by you whether you want to start your pattern from the beginning of your belt or you want to start your pattern towards the center part of the front part of your belt. So you, if you want to do that, you can just travel with your needle all the way until you get to the point where you fissa, <laughs> where you wish to. So now I'm going to insert my needle horizontally. all the way so i'm going to maybe stop at the center maybe here at the center i'll come back when i'm at this point so this is where i decided to stop i'm so nervous in my street there's like five houses that doesn't have electricity and we're connected on the same pole so the technicians when they come i wonder if they will do the right thing <laughs> To fix because they like fixing and ruining it for the rest so this winter chronicles they have started 
So your belt has groups of two. So make sure that when you're going to start, your thread has to be in between that group of two, like this. You're going to start with four beads. Ne? So the first two beads are going to be your black beads because they make that frame on the outside. And the other two beads are going to be the color that you decide on. So you move on to the next group of two. Remember the groups of two? The groups of two. And then you take your needle and you put it under. So you're going to hook your thread nicely like this on top. So your needle, you didn't insert anything um, with on your needle. You just used it to hook your thread like this. Then you take your needle and you insert your needle into the first one bead and then you push it down it's almost like you're doing your zulu necklace it's the same technique if you have done it so now we start with four beads so now we're going to change we're going to move back to three beads we are only going to do four beads when we are on the edges so now we're going to move on to three beads, three color. Remember the black are responsible for the border outside. So you identify your two beads like this. So in between the, the two beads, that is where you're going to start hanging your thread. Ukata in tamboyako. In, in Zulu, it's ukak. You're hanging. Then you take your needle, you insert it into that one bead, the only bead, the only one that is close to the, the edge. And then you pick three beads again. So you're going to pick three beads. We're going to make four loops. So whatever... Uh, number of loops that you decide on they have to be an odd number because remember you do you're making a pyramid so at the end you have to have one loop so if you started with four loops you might have to end with two loops so the pattern is not fulfilled nicely so whatever, you can have seven loops, you can have three loops, you can have five loops, you can have nine loops, you can have 11 loops, three beads, take your needle in between those two beads, then you hang it nicely with a gag. You're hanging your thread nicely. Like this. So now we have one, two, three, four loops. So now we have to do the fourth loop. Now this one is critical because remember we have the frame. So our colors will differ. So now we're doing the last loop. We have one, two, three, four. Just count the holes. So now it's going to be, you have to have three beads. Remember, you're not at the corner because you're continuing. You're going to have four beads only when you're turning and when you're starting your corner. So you're going to have one color bead and two black beads. The black represent the frame like this. So, you take your needle like this, you use the exact technique, and then you insert your needle into one bead. 
the way that you have been doing. So now we have to create like a, a bridge that connects to another triangle. So the first bridge will be 10 beads. So I'm going to pick up 10 yellow beads. I'm going to pick up 10 yellow beads. So here are my 10 beads, my color beads. And then from that 10, I add one black bead. So I take the beads and I push them down. Okay. So now you're going to skip a number of intersections. I like using the word intersections. Mm, you're going to skip the number of remember usually you've been inserting your beads your loop just right next to the one that you've just inserted so you're just going to skip the number the number of two groups of tools that you're going to skip thanks to the lights it's all going to be dependent on you so what you're going to do i can't focus now <laughs> okay i'm back thanks to the lights that we have so we are able to be functional so currently everyone the entire block they don't have electricity which is a good thing it did not choose houses so they're still working on it they're still fixing it and so we're going to skip three groups of twos and on the fourth one that is where i'm going to insert my needle like this and then i insert my needle only on that one black bead remember the black bead was an additional so it was not part of this bridge that we created so now we're going to continue now so now it's our time to change colors what do we do let me decide i think i'm going to go for green now so now you're going to choose a color you have to pick up three beads so you're going to have one black bead and two color so i've decided on green so now you don't skip from your groups of two. You insert your needle into the right next groups of two. Your next door neighbor. And then you take your needle. You insert it into that one bead. Like this. And then you pull. And then you pick up three color beads remember the black was for the frame here so now you're back to your color you're going to pick up three color beads you insert it like this to pull slowly so that my thread does not do funny things then you take your needle you insert it once like this so I'm going to do two, three, four, the next two loops, and then I'll be back. So you finally on the last loop, you do the same thing that you're doing here. You pick up three beads, but the order is going to be one white and two black. We're now doing the fifth loop. Like this. You take your needle, you insert it into that one bead and then you pull so now you're going to create this bridge how do you do it you pick up your 10 green beads so now i'm going to pick up 10 green beads so now you pick up your 10 green beads and then you pick up one black bead. 
the black bead is going to make our frame nicely so we we do the same as we we're doing here we skip three three groups you skip the first one one two three and on the fourth one that is where you're going to hook your thread then you insert your needle into that one bead so now you're going to change your color i've decided on powder blue the light blue so you pick up three beads how do you do it you pick up two no you pick up one black bead and two blue like this pick up one black bead and two and then you you hang your thread right next door like this then you insert your needle into that one bead so now we're going to do your following loops and then we're going to come back you're just going to do three more the fourth the fifth loop we're going to do it together because that's where we're going to turn and face that direction so i've done my loops now we're going to do the last one we're going to pick up one color and two black this is the last loop for this line so you do what you've been doing like this but now because you're turning and you're facing that direction you're not only going to insert your needle into one bead you're going to insert them into both your two black beads like this like this and then you pull so this is what you're going for and then you're going to pick up two black beads and two blue beads now you are turning you're going to have four beads instead of three beads so it's two black beads and two blue beads what do you do from this point you insert your needle you hook your thread i'm sorry i'm used to insert your needle into this this loop like this the next loop loop number four this light and then you insert your needle into the first bead like that as you have been doing but now it's going to be different because the direction in which you are moving is going to be now faced that direction so what you do now you pick up three blue beads again the same color and you do what you've been doing all this time take and you hook insert your needle into the first bead and then you pull okay guys crisis averted technicians are gone the, the five houses now have electricity they sorted out the problem i'm relieved so now we're going to have your three beads you're going to pick up one color bead and one and two black beads like this so what you do you take your thread and you hang it like this and then you insert your needle into one black bead like this so as you can see the pattern is being followed so 
that's why we've been doing the blacks the black beads like this so now you're going to make your bridge remember previously we had 10 beads so now we're going to add that number a little bit and add 14 beads so we're going to have 14 green beads so now you're going to have your 14 beads and your one black bead you take your needle and you hook it. Remember the black bead follows the pattern nicely. Like this. Now you're going to have one black color. One black and two color beads. So you go back to your three beads so this is the same as we have been doing with the blue you keep doing that all the way so you want to use the very same system when you get here you're going to pick up one color you're going to pick up one color and two black and then you pick up your 14 beads and one black bead all the way until we get here I'm going to do the very same thing that we have been doing to blue so if I get to this point this con the concept is the same as what we were doing at this corner so remember here we pick up to one black and one color and two black you're going to do the same thing here one color and two black you take your needle and you hook your thread like this and then instead of inserting your needle into one bead you insert it into your two black beads the exact same thing that we have been doing so now you're going to turn by four beads remember when you turn you pick up four beads the same thing that we're doing on the other corner we're doing we're doing the same thing we just the only difference is that the number of loops keep decreasing and we're doing it on the opposite side so we're doing this on the other end now we're doing it on this end so you pick up two black and two color you take your needle you hang your thread like this and then you insert your needle nicely like this so you insert it into that one bead so now how many colors we go back you do the exact same thing that you've been doing on blue you, you pick up your three color beads and then have one insert your needle into one bead like this when you get to the corner the last loop what do you do you pick up one color and two black one color and two black you're doing the same thing that you're doing here one color and two black like this now you're going to be busy with your loop like this the number of colors remember it was 10 14 so now you're going to have 18 beads and one black bead that you're going to do here so here are my 14 beads and then I top it up with my one black bead I'm sorry my 18 beads I apologize and then I hook my thread like this and what do I do I insert my needle into the black bead 
and like this voila <laughs> so when you get to this point what do you do you pick up one black bead and two color bead this what we are doing here is the same that we were doing here at the beginning on the first 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 row so one black and two color you hang your thread like this and then you continue the same way all the way until we get to this point finally at this point so you pick up one blue bead one color and two black bead you hang your thread because now you are going down instead of inserting your needle into one bead you're going to do it into two beads like this and then when you get to this point you do what you've been always doing you pick up your four beads so you're going to have two black beads and two color beads like this you take your needle and you insert it into this loop like this then you point it downwards so the last loop is the loop that is closest to the end so what do you do you do what you have always been doing you're going to pick up one color and two black beads so here's our one color and two black beads you hang your thread like this into the right places and then insert your needle into one black bead like this this is what you have so now we had 10 we had 14 we had 18 now we're going to pick up 22 so we're going to pick up 22 green beads and one black bead so when you've picked up you keep doing this all the way until you get to this point so that we can get to the last one that we can close and then we're done so all the way until we get to this point so this is the turning point this is where we always pick up four beads so you do the same thing but the difference will be the colors so you're going to pick up four black beads four black beads and then you hook your thread nicely like this and then you insert your needle like this too so your triangle is complete so now you're going to move on to the others remember we had 10 14 18 22 so now we're going to pick up 26 yellow beads and one black bead so here are my 26 beads and one black bead. I take my thread and I hang it like this. And then I insert my needle into that one bead like this. And then I pick up three black beads. I'm sorry, I'm, tr I'm trying to save time. <laughs> and then I hang my three black beads like this. And then I insert my needle. Then I pull. Then I do the same thing that I've been doing with yellow. I pick up 26 green beads and one black bead. 
So I have 26 beads and one black bead. I take my needle and I hang it nicely. And then I insert my needle into the black bead. And then at this point, I pick up three black beads. Whew, doing this video was such an obstacle. I might say electricity going, <laughs> electricity coming back, me being nervous. I'm much relieved now, but I'm glad that we managed to finish. I'm sorry that it took us this long. I realized I was avoiding for us to do part one and part two and all that. So this is the result. This is how we've, we end this video. Thank you so much for watching Queens and Kings. Thank you so much for being patient. I love you guys so, so much. Please remember to love yourself, to respect yourself, to honor yourself, and have fun. If you love the content that you're seeing, please consider subscribing. Bye!